Namaste guys, Rajesh here and in this video I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus 6P on a Mac. Now the commands that I'll be using in this video will also work on a Windows based PC. All you have to do is run them in a command prompt window. Now before we get started there are two things that you must keep in mind. The first, Rooting the Nexus 6P requires you to unlock the bootloader of the device which in turn will wipe the phone clean of all your data. Second, I am assuming that you already have Fastboot and ADB set up on your Mac. If not, don't worry, I have linked to a guide in the description below which you can follow. The process itself is very simple and you just need to run a couple of commands. So that's about it, now let's get started. Download the latest version of EWRP recovery image file from the link given in the description below and transfer it to your desktop. Rename the file to nexus6p.img for simplicity's sake. Also download the SuperSU zip file and transfer it to the internal storage of the handset. Now you need to unlock the bootloader of your Nexus 6P. To do this, first you need to go into settings, about phone and then tap on build number 7 times to enable developer options. Now head back to settings, developer options and then enable the OEM unlocking option. You will need to enter your pattern, pin or password to confirm the selection. You will also get a warning saying that enabling OEM unlock will disable the device protection feature of Android. Once done, switch off your Nexus 6P and boot it into bootloader mode. This can be done by pressing and holding the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. With the 6P connected to your Mac, open up terminal and type in fastboot devices. This will confirm whether your Nexus 6P is being detected by your Mac or not. Now unlock the bootloader by typing in fastboot flashing unlock. Once you press enter, you will need to confirm the prompt to unlock the bootloader on your Nexus 6P by highlighting the yes option using the volume keys and then confirming it by pressing the power button. With the bootloader of your 6P unlocked, it's now time to flash and boot TWRP recovery on it. For this, you will first have to navigate to your desktop in terminal on your Mac which can be done by typing in cd space desktop. Then proceed to flash TWRP by typing fastboot flash recovery nexus 6p.img where nexus 6p.img is the file name of TWRP recovery image. With the recovery flashed, Boot your Nexus 6P into TWRP by typing in fastboot boot nexus 6p.img. So once your Nexus 6P boots into TWRP recovery, simply tap on install, then navigate to the folder where you had transferred the SuperSU zip file, which for me will be in the download folder, and then simply tap on it. Then confirm your selection by swiping this arrow at the bottom to the right. The installation process will take around 10 to 20 seconds. Once it's done, simply tap on the reboot system option. Now if TWRP prompts you to install SuperSU since according to it your device is not rooted, select the do not install option. I repeat, select the do not install option. Doing otherwise might just lead to your Nexus 6P entering into a boot loop. Now the first boot after installing SuperSU can take a bit of a time but there's nothing to worry about. Now after your Nexus 6P has booted back into Android, open the app drawer and search for the SuperSU app. If the app is present in the app drawer, it means that your Nexus 6P is now rooted. You can confirm this by downloading and using application like Root Checker from Google Play. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Do hit the like button below if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.